Hey, what's up? Dread Newbie here. I had a ton of fun this year playing on the Halloween maps and trying to complete as many of the Halloween contracts as I could in the amount of time that was available to me. I really hope that you did as well. I was able to get a couple cool new Halloween items that I'm pretty happy about. Kind of rounds out a couple of my cosmetic loadouts. So that's pretty sweet. Unfortunately, Scream Fortress 2017 has officially come to an end. But that does not mean that the fun is over. There are still dedicated servers out there with the Halloween mode enabled. And so, I'd like to present to you my beginner's guide to sorcery and spellcasting. Oh, I love Halloween! Grab the spells! Cast them on Blue Talk's idiot army! When playing on Hell Tower, Hellstone, Pit of Death, or Carnival of Carnage, players who have the Spellbook Magazine, Fancy Spellbook, or the Fireproof Secret Diary equipped are able to cast magic spells that they can pick up around these maps. These magic spells vary greatly in their abilities from launching a player into the air to briefly turning invisible like a spy. or to summoning skeletons or even monoculus. Several normal magic spells have multiple charges, while rare magic spells only have a single charge. What spell you currently have equipped, how many charges you currently have left, and what button you currently have assigned to cast that spell is located in your HUD, short for Head Up Display. All magic spell effects are team colored, and each has its own unique icon in the kill feed. Regular Magic Spells The magic spell Fireball has two charges. It shoots out a ball of fire that sets enemies on fire within a large radius. It is not affected by gravity, similar to a rocket, except that it cannot be reflected by a compression blast, also called an air blast, making this very useful when fighting against pyros. The spell teleport has two charges. When used, it fires a dark, smoke-like ball that will teleport the spellcaster to wherever that ball lands when it comes in contact with the surface. It also heals the user for 30 health upon use. This spell is affected by gravity. So when aiming, you have to adjust your angle accordingly. Unfortunately, this spell cannot be used to enter the enemy spawn man. The magic spell Blast Jump has two charges. When used, it propels the spellcaster into the air high enough that they will potentially take falling damage as a result. It can also be used in mid-air and will heal the user for 25 health upon use. Interesting to note that any nearby opponents, if they are within melee range will take 11 points of blast damage as the spellcaster jumps away. Yes. Serves you right for using a Razorback. And dead. Ha ha. High five, man. Come on. Come on. That was... Dude. That was the shit. Give me a high five. Motherfucker. The magic spell Uber Heal has a single charge. When used, it uber charges the spellcaster and all allies within a close proximity, quickly refilling their health 
up to an overhealed amount of up to twice their maximum health, with the exception of the heavy, due to the duration of the spell and the heavy's high hit point total. The uber lasts for one second, and the healing lasts for three seconds. It's probably best to use this magic spell in the middle of combat to take your opponent by surprise. However, I found myself more often than not using it outside of combat to quickly refill my health bar up. The magic spell Ball of Bats has two charges, and when used, shoots out two glowing balls that quickly fall in a steep arc affected by gravity and explode in a small radius upon impact. Enemies hit by these balls will be assaulted by the bats, causing them to fly into the air and take bleed damage. The magic spell Pumpkin MIRV has a single charge. When used, it throws out a bomb, and once that bomb hits something, it produces a ring of small team colored pumpkin bombs. The pumpkin bombs produced will only explode and deal damage when shot by the spellcaster's team. If they are shot by the other team, they simply disappear one at a time. Note that these pumpkins cause damage to all players regardless of team color. The spell Stealth has a single charge, and when used, temporarily cloaks the spellcaster for 8 seconds. While cloaked, the spellcaster is fully able to attack, but is unable to push the cart while under the effects of the spell. It also heals the user for 40 health upon use. Skeletons are not affected by this spell and will still attack the spellcaster even if they are invisible. Rare Magic Spells The spell Summon Monoculus fires a skull at an area and upon impact summons a ghostly team colored monoculus that begins to attack in nearby enemies. Should both teams summon a monoculus at the same time, they will attack each other when there are no other players of the opposite team to attack. The spell Summon Skeletons fires a skull at an area and upon impact explodes into several team colored skeletons which will actively seek out and attack nearby enemies. If not destroyed, the skeletons will die after 30 seconds have passed. The spell Ball O Lightning fires a wave of electricity that continuously damages enemies it touches and sucks them in. It will vanish after a short period of time has passed or if it directly hits a large obstacle. Oh my god, how do these medics not see me? Wow. The spell Meteor Storm fires a fireball, which, upon impact, summons several meteors above the targeted area, which do massive damage to enemies in a range about 1.5 times the size of a capture point.
The magic spell Minify causes the spellcaster to shrink in size and gain a big head, resulting in the spellcaster becoming more difficult to target and gaining a significant boost to their movement speed, attack speed, and reload speed. They also take greatly increased knockback and have unlimited jumping capacity. It also switches over to the third person camera view and heals the user for 100 health upon use. Also, spellcasters under the effect of Minify can enter tiny mouse holes that teleport them to opposite ends of the map. While competing in the bumper cart mini games of Carnival of Carnage, a different set of spells are available. Cart Magic Spells Welcome to the looting gallery! Collect ducks to win! Kill the other team to win! Do whatever it takes to win! Because believe me, you don't want to lose! The spell Bombonomicon Head applies a bomb to the player's head, which does 50% damage upon exploding to the user and nearby enemies. It explodes either when its timer runs out or the user makes a head-on collision with an enemy. The magic spell Boxing Rocket fires a giant boxing glove forwards, similar to a rocket. It has a range of about four car links, and if it makes impact, will send an enemy flying. The spell Base Jump is a variant of the Blast Jump spell where a base jumper parachute is used, allowing the player to fall slowly until they reach the floor. Pressing the jump button will slow the parachute and end the spell early. The parachute cannot be reactivated in the same way. The spell Uber Heal operates differently than the normal variant. It heals 50% damage instantly and leaves the player invulnerable for significantly longer. It also does not affect teammates. Well, that's the end of my beginner's guide to sorcery and spellcasting. I hope it was somewhat helpful. And as always, may Gabbin grant you godlike goodness on the fields of glory. Hey, if you liked that video, please do give me a thumbs up as it takes some time on my part to make these videos. And also, if you have not already, please do consider subscribing as it will inspire me to make more videos in the future for you to hopefully enjoy. I'll see you next time. Peace.